Hey guys, how's it going? It's Lieutenant Royal Shrimp here, and I want to make this quick video in response to a comment and a Mr. Suck My Balls 32, yes, quite the username, my friend, had asked, um, I have S Skyrim for Steam as well. How do you get all those texture packs and mods? And you know, some this is the first time I'm doing it, but I thought, hey, you know, in reply to a comment or question, I might as well just do a little video. So I have my desktop here. Now, what you're going to want to do, I mean, obviously you have Steam, right? So you want to open Steam. Hopefully I'm not showing any personal details or whatever. But um, basically, um, I ha you have your store, and then you so you got your library. And now when you click on the Elder Scrolls Skyrim 5, which I have right here, you're going to see this thing down here called uh, Steam Workshop. Now, this was recently released. Well, not recently, like a couple months ago. I don't actually remember when. Um, like the exact date and basically this allows you to get mods super easily anyways um, so yeah you want to all you need to do click browse workshop now once you're in here um, it's fairly easy what you can do is you can get all the mods that you want and yeah a lot of them are kind of awkward like this one right here um, all that kind of stuff yeah that's kind of weird I had that's a new one by the way I haven't seen those yet but basically what you can do what um, is I'm just you know I'm just gonna get a mod right now so I'm gonna do top rated of all time because those are generally the ones that people use the most that are the best that are the least bug for or that have the least bugs etc so I let's see I have that I'm just gonna get spend dragon souls for perks now this is kind of a good thing you know because later in game you've already uh, I don't know maybe you have a uh, a mod which gives you more perks and you can't level up anymore well now you can spend dragon souls for them so that's kinda useful so all you have to do you have to do nothing but hit subscribe you now have a mod now you might be saying well it doesn't have to be downloaded or anything and yes and as you can read down here it says this item is added to your subscriptions some games will require you to relaunch them um, before the item can be downloaded so all you have to do is open your Skyrim and once it does that you will see down here uh, checking mod and what it does is I have 44 mods right now and what it does is it goes through the mods and downloads them all and you never need to do anything you just need to click that subscribe button let's say there's an update you know Skyrim gets updated to version 2.0 well the mods if the person the author of the mod if he's up to date at all he'll release an update you don't need to do anything it'll the, the Steam itself will actually update the mod for you and then you, all you need to do is open Skyrim and it'll check down here every time if it's up to date. If it's not, it'll say, you know, downloading updated version or whatever. Um, and that's really all you need to do. Now, if you want to go a little bit more into detail and actually like, um, you know, turn mods on and off or actually delete them, what you have to do is you have to click on uh, data files and right now it's going through all my up uh, mods actually so you'll see here in a sec I, I believe yeah 42 40 there we go so successfully downloaded so finish synchronizing all subscribe mods now what you're gonna want to do uh, is if you want to actually turn mods off in game although you've downloaded them you can go like I said on data files and then you can see all the mods you have installed right here now what you can do is here you can actually change the order in which they're loaded they will load in this order they will go from top to bottom. Now some mods require that they be loaded first because they change a more essential part of the game or they might be not compatible with another mod if loaded after them so th you know there's a couple little things that you need to read when you uh, go through them in the workshop but most mods you can just install and never need to change anything. So yeah you can see here I have the high risk texture packs and then a bunch of other ones um, and yeah le so let's say you have it installed but you don't want it in the game you just uncheck this little thing right here you click OK and you launch your game. Now, if you um, and that'll make it so that the game will not load that mod, even though it's installed and everything, it will not load it. Um, so you won't have that data or anything. So that's the first way to do. It. That's the easy way. That's the um, that's the best way really to get mods, um, or at least in my opinion. Um, also, if you want to link to the Skyrim Workshop, you can just click on here, and it'll actually get you to the web version of it. Um, so yeah, here's actually, oh yeah, you can see here the comment. Hey, if I have this game on Steam, how can I download all these mods and texture packs? Very interesting. Um, now the second way how to get mods, and that is what other people do, is they get, they, um, get something called Nexus, uh, or Nexus, what is it, Mod Manager, I have it right here. So Nexus Mod Manager, sorry if you can hear the tipping. 
Now, Nexus Mod Manager is a sort of like uh, the Steam Workshop, except it's what came out before it. It was the uh, it was the original version of basically how to mod. And so all you have to do, what if you want to um, get different mods, is download this. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why would I want to use you know um, Skyrim Nexus, which is the actual name, over Steam Workshop? Well, if you click on data files, if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see here that there are a couple things which um, this one, like Skyrim Online, is not subscribed, and these one right here, uh, those aren't ones which you can subscribe to. Now, those are mods which I actually have installed through the um, Nexus Mod Manager. Now, why I would do that is because Skyrim, the Steam Workshop, Steam Workshop has a limit to how big the uh, file sizes can be of the mod. So for instance the Skyrim 2K textures mod which textures mod which I have if I click on uh, Nexus mod manager you will see it in a sec here. If I have that you cannot actually get that um, here we go so you can see here these you cannot download through the Steam Workshop because they are too big and actually they were too big in general so the author split them up into four different parts but um, that's basically what you do and to download them on Nexus Mod Manager. Nexus Mod Manager, by the way, you download, install it, it does it all for you, there's nothing you need to do. Um, to get a mod on Nexus Mod Manager, um, all you have to do is, uh, let's go to uh, files, let's see, latest files. Stonehenge, Skyrim, let's see, do, 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 do. I'll do something a little bit, uh, top files. Yeah, I have that one. That one's actually on the uh, Steam Workshop as well. Um, Sky UI. I actually don't know. I want to get something. Here we go. Elaborate textiles. So what you can do is all you have to do is, if the mod allows it on Skyrim Nexus, what you can do is you just hit download with manager. Now what it'll do is it'll if your Skyrim manager is not if the Nexus mod manager is not open it'll open it um, if it is then it'll just add it and you will see here in a sec if I have it open here and I hit download with manager you can see here it adds it automatically and it actually starts downloading it so you can see here you have a little download manager and it tells you everything um, so yeah and then after that is done downloading which I will show you in a sec you can install it. So hey guys, the uh, the mod actually uh, finished downloading, and this is I mean this is extremely easy. All you have to do now is you have to activate the mod, and so you just click on it. And as you can see right there, that little check mark is is not checked. That checkbox, if it is checked, it means the uh, mod is installed and should be working. Um, so yeah, all you have to do click is this little activate the selected mod. So I'm going to click that and then it'll install the mod for you and it looks like another mod, Skyrim 2K Textures, is um, already there and this is actually going to overwrite that. And hmm, let's see, do I want to do that? I think I'll do yes to all because I do want to get the better textures um, from this mod instead of the Skyrim 2K. So yeah, guys, if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments. This is just a really brief overview. I mean, this is just extremely quick. Steam Workshop, Nexus Mod Manager, and whatnot. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. My name is Lieutenant Royal Shrimp. Uh, please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.